guys, this is Tyler and welcome back to After The Run. In this episode I'm going to talk a little bit about why I am proud of a participation trophy that I just got. I know that um, we talk often about how participation trophies are stupid, that there are winners in life, there are losers in life, and we shouldn't reward kids just for doing something. And I think that um, that's mostly true. But in this episode I want to talk about why sometimes it's not always true. And so let me start by giving you some background. Um, when I was a kid, I was not very good at sports. I loved sports, I worked hard at them, but I just wasn't very good. I, you know, had a hard time to make, I never made like the all-star team or anything like that. Um, and I'd go out for a bunch of sports and I really struggled. Now, I did have a little bit of success. I was on the varsity tennis team. I ran cross country, but never really made varsity. I did a few races at varsity, but never really made it up. Um, but for me, what I learned is that participating was taking some of that joy in the journey, right? That by, by participating, I was still getting fulfillment out, out of that, and that was the reward. I didn't need a trophy to show me that I was, you know, included, that I had opportunities to meet people, that I was doing good things. Um, that was the reward, was that I got to participate. Um, and however, as I got older, as I have gotten older, I've learned that participating is more and more an accomplishment um, because people quit doing things as they get older. Um, as I've competed in uh, r races as an adult, you know, my first marathon I did when I was in college, and it was a major accomplishment for me. Now, I didn't need to win a ribbon or get a medal, but at all marathons, they give you medals anyways. And, Fine. Um, I think running 26 miles is a, is a pretty big accomplishment and maybe warrants a medal. Um, but I always thought, wouldn't it be cool to win a race? Wouldn't it be cool to get a medal because you earned it or deserved it? Now, one thing that I saw when I was a kid, like when I was in elementary school and going into high school, is here in the state of Utah they have something called the Utah Summer Games. And at the Utah Summer Games, um, people gather from all over the state and compete in different sports and different events and so you'll have like a baseball tournament, you'll have a soccer tournament, you'll have a basketball tournament and then they'll do track and field kind of like the Olympics where there'll be long jump and high jump and 100 meter dash, pentathlon, stuff like that. And as a kid I never went to the summer games, it was down in the southern part of the state and I lived in the northern part of the state but I heard about people that went. People who were really good at sports would go down and they'd participate in the summer games and some of them would get ribbons and medals and I always thought that would be really, really cool. And then I forgot about it because I, I grew up and I did other things. But um, we recently moved to southern Utah and I happened to live in the city that hosts the summer games every year. And for the first few years I thought, oh wow, that's cool. I remember when I wanted to do that as a kid. Um, but I didn't really have any dreams of participating because I was old and fat and that just wasn't going to happen. But then I lost a bunch of weight and I started getting um, into running a little bit more. And a few years ago I started thinking maybe I could do the summer games or maybe that would be a good incentive to get my kids to participate. The thing is, is every summer we do a Christians and Family Olympics where we go to the track and we participate in different events. and it's. Uh, kind of an ordeal. We do the shot put, we do the discus, we do some of the track events and, and long jump um, and it's a lot of fun and I like it because we have to record our scores and then you can set goals for the next year and, and try to get better and it's fun to just race against your family and we'll do that with our individual family but we've also done it from you, periodically with extended family and it gives you bragging rights in the extended family, right? Except someone always gets injured and <laughs> things go wrong but, but it's always been a fun thing to do. Well, um, a few years ago when I lost some weight and started thinking maybe I could participate in the Summer Games and so I set that goal and then COVID happened and it was canceled. But this year it was going. Now unfortunately over COVID I gained some weight back and some, uh, got back into some unhealthy habits. But I thought maybe this would be a good reset for me. And so I still signed up for the games. I signed up with my son who has started running. And I thought that would be fun just to go with him. We can do some events we don't normally do and there'll be someone there to time us and, and measure. And so that would be really cool just to set a baseline and then in the future maybe I could do some other things. And so we signed up and we did it. And it was a great experience. We went to the opening ceremonies, listened to the band, watched the fireworks. Um, we didn't go on the field with the other athletes but we just enjoyed it. And then the game started and the track and field events are the last weekend. So that was this last weekend. 
And we went, we were there early in the morning, and our first event was the high jump. Now, I was nervous about a high jump, but my wife was even more nervous about me because I'm still a really big guy, and I remember you can get hurt doing the high jump, not just landing on the pole, which is uncomfortable, but you can really mess up your back if you land wrong, and, and especially someone my size. And so I was a little worried about that, and, and my wife certainly was. But we went ahead and started, and I haven't done this high jump since like junior high, elementary school. And I don't know how high I can jump. I think when I was in elementary school, I jumped like 4'2 or 4'4, something like that. But I was like under five feet at the time, and so that was a pretty good accomplishment. Um, as an adult, I have no idea what I could do. And so they asked me, what should be your starting height? And I said three foot six. And I thought three foot six is low enough that I can probably jump it, maybe not, but um, I'll at least be competitive. Now, when we showed up, they start at the lowest heights and then whoever signs up for that height will try to attempt it. And it was mostly little kids because the Utah Summer Games has age groups all the way from like four years old to a hundred. And so it's mostly in the, in the lower heights, it was little kids and really old guys. And so they're jumping it and then it gets to three foot six. And I was really worried because kids had already gotten out at this point and a few older people had gotten out at this point. But things came back to me kind of like riding a bicycle and I went and did it and it wasn't pretty the first time but I cleared the height on my first try. And the people who were staffing that event, they were, you know, they saw how big I was and so I think they were doubtful that I would do it but when they saw that I could do it, uh, they were impressed and they're like, oh, you should have started way higher. You cleared that by a good several inches. But they increased the height a few inches every time and, and as we got further into it, my confidence certainly went up and I started getting back into the form and remembering different little things and I'd watched a bunch of YouTube videos so I could remember the basics but hadn't practiced because I don't have the equipment. So I was really happy um, and honestly, so my son hit the bar after a few heights and that actually kind of made me a little happy because he's better than me at sports and I was like maybe I can beat him in this um, even though he's in much better shape. And, but he figured it out and I coached him on things when he messed up. I was showing him the video I had on my phone and, and he made progress and so he, he got higher and higher and it wasn't pretty watching him but he certainly is a much better athlete than me. So just on his athletic ability alone he was clearing heights and, and starting to have real, a lot of fun with it. Well we got up over four feet and then we hit a hiccup because they started running the 100 meter dash and we had both signed up to do the 100 meter dash and so he would run over and do, run that with his age group and then came back and participated in the high jump and they would wait for us a little bit and when it got to my age group for the 100 meter dash um, that had a full, you know, every lane was filled for the 100 meter dash for my age group and I ran over but I hadn't really warmed up I'd done a little bit of light warming up but for I forgot for a full sprint you really need to warm up really well and I hadn't do, done that so um, plus, I've never really done short sprints before. I do the longer distances, and so I, there was a lot that I didn't know about the 100 meter. But I did it because I wanted to know how fast I could run 100 meters so I could set a goal for the future. So I get there and I'm chatting up with the other guys, and they have the blocks all set up, and I don't know how to run off the blocks, and so I asked for advice, and, and pretty much everyone said, if you haven't done it, just take the blocks off. So I did, I moved them off, and just I was the only one standing to, at the start of the 400. Uh, and that certainly made a difference. When the gun went off, I was immediately behind everyone else. I had a slower start. But I was able to gain on, on one person and everyone else got further and further ahead of me. They were clearly uh, much better equipped for the 100 meter dash. And once I was a little more than halfway, probably at about 70 meters, I felt something pop, I felt a sharp pain, and I had pulled my hamstring which really stunk. Um, so I still finished the race, I slowed down, I did it in just under 15 seconds, like 14.85, um, which I, I guess is still a baseline for me. I, I'm pretty confident. I was even with um, someone who, his time was 13.51, and so I think I probably would have been close to that without pulling my hamstring. And so that will be my goal for next year, is to beat 13 and a half seconds. Um, but then the sad thing was I had to go back to high jump, they were waiting for me and now I had a pulled hamstring and I, I never had a pulled hamstring before so I didn't know if I could keep competing on it. I knew it was a lot of pain um, but I didn't know what I could do so I, I decided to try it but to be really cautious because I didn't want to do further damage. 
so I couldn't really run on it. So I just got a few steps back from the, the pole and I tried to just take a couple steps and then fortunately my good leg, my jumping leg, was not the one that was injured, it was my, my other leg. And so I could still jump off it and I went and I, I hit the bar for the first time. So up to this point I hadn't hit the bar but we're at four and a half feet, four, four foot six and I hit the bar. And then the second time I tried to change it a little bit but I still did a short run and I hit the bar again. On my last attempt, I decided to just go through the pain, so I backed up a little further like a normal approach, um, and it hurt a lot, but I ran a little faster, so I had that speed to get up and over, and I did clear it. I cleared it probably by a few inches, but it hurt so bad to run that stretch that I immediately dropped out of the competition. So I got four foot six, dropped out of the competition, and was kind of bummed because my son did clear that height and that was the last one he cleared. He got to four foot eight. Um, and so I guess we both cleared four six. He cleared the next height as well, four eight. Well, I had to drop out of all my other events. I dropped out of the long jump. I dropped out of the 400 meter. I dropped out of the steeplechase. And I was really bummed about that. Um, but this episode's about our participation trophy. And guess what? I got my first ever gold medal. I was first place in my event in the high jump. I got first place for my age division. Now that sounds really cool and it fulfilled a childhood dream for me but it's less impressive when you consider that I was the only person in my age division. Um, I did beat all the other old men except for one. There was one old guy that was awesome. He got like five foot eight um, and I think he was in his mid fifties. But anyone else over the age of 35, that's where it kind of ended. And over the age of 35, I beat all the other guys in their 60s, 70s, 80s. I beat them all, which I guess isn't real, real impressive. But for me, it felt like a win because I showed up. I tried something that I was scared of. I tried something that was hard. I didn't know what to expect. And the reason why I'm a winner is not because I got that medal. I mean, it's cool to have the medal. Um, and my son ended up getting a few medals from the games as well. And so it was really cool that in our first games together, we both got to go on the podium and be recognized. And that was really cool. But the bigger thing for me is that I showed up, I tried something hard, and now I know what I'm capable of. So I've already set goals for next year. I want to do it again. It was really cool. And I was able to watch other events as well. I'm really excited for the steeplechase. There weren't nearly as many people who did the distance events, and I am much more competitive in the distance events. So I would feel like I really earned that one. So next year I'm gonna do the 2,000 meter steeplechase. I'm gonna to try to do it in under 10 minutes, which I don't think is super hard, but it's a good place to start for me. Um, I'm gonna to try to clear five feet in the high jump. I wanna do it again. And I wanna do 13.5 in the 100 meters. And, and this time I'll, I'll give it an adequate warm up and be better prepared. Hopefully I'm a little skinnier than as well. And then after that, I might do the long jump, I might do the 400 meter, I might do a, a bunch of different events. You could do up to five events. But really, I'm looking at those three events, the high jump, um, the 100 meter, and the steeplechase, and I'm so excited to do it because now I have something I can train for. I know better what I'm getting into. We might set up some mats this summer in the yard so we can practice the high jump because my son really loved it. He'd never done high jump before, and now he's saying next year at the high school, He's thinking of doing the high jump. He did long jump this year and actually did quite well for a freshman. And at the summer games, he got his personal best and got a bronze medal, which is super cool. So out of the whole state of Utah, uh, in his division, he got third place, which is incredible. So we have something we're working towards. But I, I wanted to make this episode because I want to encourage you. It doesn't matter where you're at on your, you know, health journey, whether that's losing weight or if you're an athlete and you're trying to do bigger and better things, it doesn't matter where you're at, but it does help to know where you're at. It helps to try something to get a baseline. And so don't be afraid of working towards a participation trophy, of trying new things, of trying hard things, something that maybe that you're scared of, because if you try it, you'll have a better sense of where you're at and then you can set goals moving forward. Uh, and I hope that you have the kind of experience I had. Now, I don't hope that the, the field is totally crowded next year at the Summer Games, so I can't medal. So if you're from Utah and you're, you're thinking, oh, I better do that, just don't do the events I'm going to do, okay? Do me a solid on that one so uh, I can keep getting medals. That would be really cool. Uh, whatever the case, uh, I hope that there's a little bit of encouragement here. If you want to post in the comments what's something that you want to try, what's something that you're willing give a go out. I think that'd be really cool to hear from you and, and hear what you want to try in your life, what you want to participate in. 
uh, and win that little participation trophy, okay? Well, thanks for joining me on After the Run today. Uh, until next time, see ya, bye-bye.